Although we said goodbye to the famous British historical drama Downton Abbey almost six years ago, it's still weighing heavy on our minds, some scenes more than others. Scenes with character deaths that made no sense or scenes that just ended up feeling wrong. Here are just some of those scenes from this stellar show that we just wish we didn't have to watch. Mr. Parmuk dies in Lady Mary's bed. Right off in the third episode of its first season, we find Lady Mary getting seduced by a new visitor, Mr. Kemal Pamuk, a Turkish sultan's minister. He enters Lady Mary's room at night and the two share a passionate kiss. Just when viewers thought their steaming romance would be the highlight of the show, Mr. Parmuk turned as white as a sheet and died. Apart from the shock value, why was this scene even included in the series? Was it to show how delicate a lady's reputation was in those times? Or was it to distract the viewers from Mary and Matthew's love story? Seems to us that this was just a filler scene that added nothing to Lady Mary's character development or led to any significant change in the plot later on. It just became a funny reference point. Oh, remember when Lady Mary was about to spend the night with the Turkish minister, but he died. Lady Sybil's death. Yes, we have another death scene, and this one hurt a little too much and left viewers wondering whether they should even continue with watching the show. Lady Sybil was an adored character and perhaps the most loved Crawley sister out of the three. She was honest, brave, and unlike her sisters, dared to do the unthinkable in the name of love. She married her father's chauffeur, Tom. She proved time and time again that she wanted to live life to the fullest, which is why her untimely death was especially heartbreaking. In season two, after a difficult and nerve-wracking childbirth scene, viewers thought they'd gotten away with it. But oh no, Lady Sybil died from an early labor complication while her family stood around her and had to watch, just like the viewers. We just wish the writers could have let Lady Sybil stay on for a bit longer. Her love story with Tom was just getting to the easier part after her parents accepted their marriage. To this day, this scene still haunts the internet. Lady Edith left at the altar. The Crowley sisters have faced many battles. Somehow, Lady Edith was the one that just couldn't seem to find her happy ending, no matter how hard she tried. In season three of Downton Abbey, we saw the often overlooked Lady Edith, the black sheep of the family, finally getting her moment to shine. After searching for love and failing many times, she finally accepted Anthony Strallen's marriage proposal. Anthony, being a war veteran and way older than Edith, was not seen as a proper match for Edith by her family, but Edith was committed to proving them wrong. She wanted her fairy tale wedding after living under the shadows of her sisters, Sybil and Mary. But the writers decided, let's just make her suffer more. When Edith finally walks down the aisle to say I do to Anthony, he interrupts the ceremony and says he cannot marry her and ruin her life, apparently. Now we do see why Anthony being quite older than Edith and a disabled war veteran would seem like an unfit match for her, but why couldn't the writer stick with the storyline? Why end it so suddenly? It would have been much more exciting to see how Anthony and Edith navigated their relationship when faced with so much adversity and see how their love grew despite it all. They ended Sybil and Tom's relationship too early and now they did the same thing here too. Matthew's accident. If you thought Lady Sybil's death made fans want to stop watching the show, just think about what happened when the show's main hero, Matthew, died. Matthew was Lady Mary's main love interest from the beginning of Downton Abbey. Their love story was the emotional core of the show and fans prayed they'd see them finally end up together and get their happy ending. There were many hurdles placed in their way from Lady Mary's insistence on marrying someone richer than her or Matthew's engagement to Lavinia, but the stars finally aligned in season three when Matthew and Mary got married. Married life did not prove to be smooth sailing as they struggled with fertility issues later on. Then their luck pulls through once again as Mary got pregnant and they had a healthy baby boy. And then that scene happened. While driving his car and rushing to announce the birth of his baby boy, he got into a car accident and dies. We do understand that the show writers had to invent a way to write Matthew off the show since the actor Dan Stevens wanted to leave it, but they could have led it to a less tragic ending. Why couldn't Matthew have reappeared with a different face, like some Mexican telenovela? Anna's Assault. Assault has been used by many TV show writers to push the plot forward and bring some character development to the female characters. These decisions do seem like lazy writing and are seen as being quite unfair to the female characters, which is why in season four, when Lady Mary's beloved maid Anna got assaulted, fans were disappointed with the show and where it was headed. Throughout the series, Anna remained loyal to the people she loved. She fought to get her husband, Mr. Bates, out of jail, and when they were finally reunited, the writers thought, since we have nothing to throw her into, why not have her assaulted? In season four, while enjoying a musical night at Downton, Anna stepped out with Alex Green, who was Lord Gillingham's valet. Mr. Green first advanced towards Anna. When she refused, he beat her up, locked her in a nearby room, and assaulted her. The scene, along with other scenes of Anna trying to overcome her shame and guilt, ended up following the tired trope used by writers when they run out of things to write about. Surely Anna deserved a better storyline where she is seen overcoming other obstacles or living her married life with Mr. Bates. Robert Crowley's Olsen
ulcer bursts at the dinner table. There have been plenty of medical mishaps on this show from miscarriages, deaths from childbirth, car accidents, paralysis, etc., but none of them are as graphic and as stomach-churning as this one. In Season 6, the head of the house, Robert Crawley, invited the Minister of Health to dine with his family along with other guests. During a fiery debate on whether the town or the government should be in charge of the health sector, Robert Crawley stood up suddenly in distress and asked to end the debate. After a brief pause, he sprayed blood everywhere, and the scene is nothing short of a nightmare. Apparently, the ulcer in Robert's stomach finally burst right during dinner. Blood could be seen everywhere, and some of it even got on Lady Cora's dress and face. It's like the Red Wedding all over again. How does this graphic scene that belongs in a David Cronenberg film end up in such a sophisticated and mild show like Downton Abbey? We're not sure, but it certainly made our stomach squeezy, and we'd definitely not like to see it again. Lady Edith takes Marigold back. Remember how we discussed character growth and Lady Edith finding her happy ending? Well, it seems as if the writers of this show just wanted to place her in every kind of weird situation possible. After failing to find love and drifting from one passion to another, in season 4, Edith fell for her editor, Michael. The two were committed to getting married despite their differences. Michael left for Germany to get his citizenship, while Edith waited for him to return so they could get married. However, she found out that she was pregnant with his child. Having an illegitimate child would certainly have led to social ruin for Edith, so she chose to have the child but put her up for adoption somewhere in Geneva. This is where Edith's growth as a person who takes ownership for her actions starts to fail. She left her daughter Marigold in Geneva, but returned to leave her someplace closer to her. So she asked Downton Abbey's estate farmer, Mr. Drew, to adopt her. While he and his wife start to raise Marigold as her own, Edith struggles with her desire of becoming Marigold's mother. She wanted to stay in her life. So in season 5, she displaced Marigold once again and took her from Mr. and Mrs. Drew. This scene is not only heart-wrenching to watch, but it is also infuriating, as it shows that Edith didn't really learn from her mistake the first time. She ruined not one, but two families with her inability to make a decision and stand by it. That's a wrap for this video. What scene do you think Downton Abbey could have been better without? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.